Hello, live stream. Josh and Hannah are running late today, so we'll get started in five minutes. That should give you guys a chance to join in. Ah, uh, yeah, whack in the comment. We need to get a chair ready. Long and black. No. No. Disaster. 
Is your phone on? Yeah. Is it live? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you are. There you are. Mm. They haven't come up on the phone. Annabelle's ready to go. Chloe's ready for a beast in today. I'm going to do a good one today. I just lost the cable. I just lost the cable for the Ethernet cable. I relate, so I'll just finish my sandwiches and then we'll start. <laughs> That's today's date. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay, guys, are we ready to go? Today's date is the 22nd of April. You are watching me, Joshua Ball, and my lovely lady, Hannah Looms. We're going to go through a gymnastics warm up. You guys can follow along. Hannah's left her phone playing loud. I have. So, isn't it? Let's get rid of the echo. All you guys need is a space in your house or your garden. If you've got a gymnastics mat, whack a gymnastics mat down. You're also going to need a chair for one of the activities today, but that can just be the sofa that you're stood next to. Uh, and then we're going to do a big warm up, some core exercises, and then we're going to work our handstands. And I'm going to give you four different exercises that you can do to work your handstand better at home. Okay? Everybody get ready, they're standing on the spot. We've got we a different mat today, we have. Different mat today, this is my other mat. I was by his side, ready to go. Are you ready, Hannah? Yes. Josh is ready. ready. I am ready today. Monday's wasn't great. Today's is going to be. Not today bad. was Monday, but it's not it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. It's Wednesday, everyone. Stop forgetting the days. <laughs> right. Parents, if you're just sat watching, there is no reason that you didn't don't stand next to whoever's joining along with this and get involved as well. Let's get going. So just start jogging on the spot. Because that will always start. Nice jog on the spot. Nice warm day as well, isn't it? It is. Uh, Annabelle's running on the spot. <laughs> jog, jog, jog here. And then as fast as you can. 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we're going to touch your chest on the ground and back up five times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then just jogging again. Oh, I'll beat you. Well, I mean, like, but obviously everybody's going to be behind you because you always see what you're going to do as you're doing it. It just comes, it comes slow, it flows through. People need a heads up though. It flows through as fast as you can on the spot. 10 seconds, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then this time, nose on the floor, jump back up, five times. Go. <laughs> I was meditating on my face. <laughs> Three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> and then just yeah, jump so in again. Don't need a video. There you go. I told you I'm getting warm. <gasps> Try again. Okay, now star jumps. Just down the spot, star jumps. If you want to. Spin in a circle. Sergeant. And then five times on the out. 
Go touch the ground. Come back in. Out, opposite hand. In, out. I'm not going to look at you, know. It's just looking at you. That's all they need to look at. That means good. Huh? How would you do it? Just going to keep going. Keep going until we can't do it anymore. Pretty sure it said five. <laughs> You're getting your wall. Right, let's jog on the spot. Check. Facebook, can you see me properly? Facebook's horrible because it's just in portrait. Facebook can't see you at all. I need landscape on Facebook. Well, as visible as that way, then at least you're in it. What? Oh, where are we going? Put Facebook up here. Put it all there. I don't know. Yeah, I only can see it. And we can join on. Right, time for a stretch. You ready, Hannah? Yeah, I'm just checking where we're looking. Reach your arms up nice and tall. If you can touch the ceiling, don't do any flips in your house. Ceiling test always. And then suck your arms forwards nice and big. As far big as you can. Oh, you touched me. Don't touch me again. <laughs> suck your arms backwards. That's a better view for Facebook. They can, surely they can see the both. You can see the line on the floor. There we so. go, that's what we need. Right, okay, arms out to the side. Now we're going to just side to side. Just feel that stretch in your back. Try and keep your hips where they are. You don't want to be turning all the way around. Just your chest. Okay, and then leaning over to the left. Do it slower. To the right. This is always too quick for me. Okay, I'll do it slow. I, prefer, I feel like I can feel it more if it's slower. You guys as well, if there's something in these sessions that I need to go through slower or there's something I need to talk about more, please let me know in the comments. Or if he's talking too much, then just say, we get it, Josh. Me talking too much? No. Never. I never talk too much. Oh. Oh. Okay, then hands on your hips. Regrets. And so up your hips, like dancing. Why would you wear black in it? We're both want black. All black, everything black. So I'm trying to get a sweat on. This quarantine's making me a little bit chubby. <laughs> okay, legs a bit further apart. Arms up nice and tall. Now you go push your bum back. And I want you to hold halfway. Keep your legs nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to reach down to the floor. Hold five, four, three, two, one. And then hands forwards. Five, four, Three, two, one. Now walk your hands as far as you can through your legs. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Even if you're going here, as long as you can feel it stretching the back of your legs, you'll be absolutely flexible by the end of the year. <laughs> absolutely flexible. <laughs> absolutely flexible. Not even a little bit. Okay, absolutely. then we're going to go. <laughs> Arms up, position one. Position two. Three is in front. Four is in between our legs, and five is through our legs. So we go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then give your legs a good shake. Shake your legs off. Shake your legs, shake you your legs. shake them actually off. <laughs> You're a funny guy, you are. You're a funny guy. Okay, off to the side. Now we're going to lean forwards to position two again. So we're nice and flat back. We don't want to be rounded like this. We want to be straight. Now we're going to go side to side. Touch both our toes with our opposite hands. But keep those legs straight. Bent legs is messy legs. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> okay, now lunge to the right. You guys know what I'm going to say when I'm in this position. Why do I say, Anna? Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. So stretching our left leg, feel it stretch. This is called your hamstring at the back of your legs. So feel that stretch all the way down the back. Try your toes pointed to the floor. See if you can get your heel and your toe on the floor. So, and then to the other side. Just stretch. What did I say this one is? Spider Woman. Spider Woman. Good. It's gender equality. <laughs> right, that means to say there. Just be quiet for a bit. <laughs> okay, both, both legs back up. 
Give him a good little shake. Shake, 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 shake. Onto the side. Now we're going to return back to this position. So the opposite hand is going to touch the opposite foot, but return back to this position. So you're going to turn, touch your right foot, back up, touch your left. Then 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then feet together. Now you're going to go. Arms up nice and tall. And then swing your hands behind your back. So you've got your, Ooh. you're locking your fingers together like this. Synchronized <laughs> And then you're going to pull back, open your shoulders up. And feel your shoulders stretch and open up. If you can, try and go forward. Let your hands relax over your head. How do you keep your fingers together? Oh, oh do you mind just fly? <laughs> the stretch net. Feel that stretch hey. in <laughs> Get the feet together again. Arms up nice and tall. Now we're going to go from here, bum backwards. Reach towards the ground, keep your arms by your knees. Grab the ground, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, and then I'm not even going to show it. Sit into a straddle position. You know what straddle is. You guys know what straddle is. You all know what a straddle is by now, don't you? You've been following along. You already do gymnastics. Please, we sis, who is four, is also doing it. Starting our legs. Four years old is the best time to start gymnastics. Get them into a club as quick as you can, as soon as they're four. You want them to be. Your foot's touching mine. Your foot's touching mine. I would say. Okay, straddle position. Arms up. And we're going to go forwards twice. One, two, then to our right leg. One, two, then to our left. One, two, then forwards. One, two, then to our right. One, two, to our left. One, two, forwards. One, two, to our right. One, two, to the left. One, two. Now when we go forwards, Hold as far forward as you can. Stretch forward as far as you can. 10 seconds. If you guys, so there's two sisters working out. The two sisters, one of you can go behind. Don't push too hard, but you can push them down in a straddle. Just until they let out a little squirm. Yeah. <laughs> and hold them there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, good. Shake your legs. And then make sure you do it the other way around as well. Yeah, if you're with partners, if you've not got a partner, still staying in that straddle stretch. So this is where if they were mean, you can get your own back, but obviously they won't again. I wasn't mean. Anyway. I wasn't mean. I didn't mean. Ah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, what? <sighs> Lovely. Okay, then reach over to your right leg. Grab our right foot. If you can't quite grab your right foot, put your hands on your right leg. Look at my foot. <laughs> We're still shaking. Okay, then slide down as far forward as you can. If you can, get your, right, your nose onto your right knee. See if you can get all the way down, but keep that leg straight. We don't want none of this. You want straight legs. That's cheating. Tense, tense all the top bit of your legs. Hold five, four, Three, two, one, and then as you guessed, to our left. Stretch it out. You should be feeling that stretch all in, all in this bit. Stretch out, stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then feet together, reaching forwards as far as you can, and holding. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Right, from this position, I want you to rock up to a shoulder stand. Okay? So don't worry if you can't hold the shoulder stand. To... <laughs> <laughs> don't worry if you can't hold the shoulder stand because we're going to go all the way over. Okay, so we're always trying to get into that pike position that we were doing just sat down then, but rocking all the way over our head. So we go all the way up to the shoulder stand, and then our feet come over your hands, grab onto your legs. 
and you're gonna pull your legs down. You can try to keep those legs straight. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and then rock forwards and backwards. Five times. Guys in the comments, can you guess what's next? When we do rocks like this, what comes after? Parents, you should know. <laughs> We're gonna do a bridge. A bridge. Are we all ready to do a bridge? If you've not done a bridge before, you're gonna be sitting on your bum like me and like Hannah. You gotta tuck your feet up. Feet apart. Your bum. No. Yeah. Eventually, you wanna have your feet together. Yeah, but feet. Yeah. If you feet. Can, if it's your first time doing it. Okay. If it's your first time doing feet it, feet apart. apart. If you can already do it though, try today, put your feet together and then try and push your legs straight, but do not move your feet. That can be a challenge. I'm going to try that today. I don't think you're ready for that, but go for it. <laughs> That's rude. Right, we're going to hold it for 20 I seconds. I'm going to say how to do a bridge if they've not done it. I'm going to I'll carry on, give me a break. Okay. <laughs> we are on it today, I'm sweating. Right, feet in close, lie down onto your back. You're going to put your hands by your head and you're going to push up all the way up into a bridge. Ready? You're gonna next to you. Huh? Yeah. No, you better see what I do when I get up there. Three, two, How long are we holding it for? one, go, 20 seconds. My socks are slipping. Say, 15, 12, Probably 10, finding it all right, or lift one leg up, and then seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and come down into a nice ball, tuck shape, and rock forwards and backwards. Oh, that felt good today. I get flexible. See, if you join along with my live sessions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you'll get as flexible as Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Defo something to aspire to there. <laughs> give, you, give, them, give all your body a good shake. Give your wrists a. Let me see how Facebook's cracking on. Make sure you stretch your wrist out because we're going to be doing handstands soon. So hands together around in the board. Don't know so what this is, a wave. This is better view for you guys on Facebook. Give them a shake. And then now is a good time to have a drink if you need a drink. Oh. <laughs> you guys, once you got a drink, back onto your mats, and then we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm just dying because I'm burnt. <laughs> you guys, grab yourself a drink, then we're gonna go through handstands. Josh is getting a bit too comfortable. Annabelle, who's five years old, is working out and breaking a sweat. That's what my aim is: is to give you guys something to get up to. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, get yourself a little sweat on. So when you go back to your gymnastics club in however long it is, you guys aren't all lethargic and can't move because all you've done is sat down and played the PlayStation or on your iPad for the last what, what fifth week now, isn't it? Speed type in the alphabet because that is a good alphabet, one. Speed yeah. type in the alphabet. See if you can get it in under four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right, Are four exercises. Chair? No, the chair is the third exercise. Four exercises. Our first, ha our first one that we are going to do is just kick ups to handstand. Okay. So we're going to do no just from standing. We're not trying to hold the handstand. We're just trying to take the weight onto our arms and come back down into a nice safe position. Okay. We're going to do how many do you want to do? Seven. Seven. Yes. Uh, not random. We'll do ten each. Okay. You guys, you do ten as well. So what you're going to do? You're going to put one foot forwards. You again. You're not trying to hold the handstand. Okay. That will come with practice. That will come with time. What you've got to work on first is getting your arms nice and straight, taking that weight onto your arms. So from this position, arms up nice and tall, you're going to bend your front leg forwards, and all we're going to do, reach our hands towards the ground, our back leg's going to lift up, and you're going to jump, come back down. Okay? If you guys have got a big living room, walk forwards and walk forwards, walk backwards, make it a bit travelly. Travelly? Is that a word? No. Travel in. So go up, come back down. Okay, up, come back down. Okay, for you guys that can hold the handstand, hold the handstand. Okay, 10 times, taking that weight onto our shoulders. 
Okay. Try and squeeze all your muscles. If you can squeeze your legs together, squeeze your legs together. Oh no! <laughs> and that was my phone. Facebook's just had a disaster. Is that smash my phone? It's mangled. Josh's phone is a little bit mangled now. Oh great. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That down. You guys keep going, don't you worry about my phone. <laughs> I'll move you to. Here you go, just kicking up to a handstand. Don't have to hold it. Just bounce it up, coming back down. Bounce it up, coming back down. Bounce it up. You don't even need to join your legs together yet. Just there. And then snap together if you can. Okay. Is it smash my phone? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to put it on here and I'll do the hand where you put it up on the table? Do it lower right. though. Do it lower and make the trifle. Oh, it's smashed. It's mangled. You guys are watching on Facebook, you just witnessed my phone. Get, get it. <laughs> Absolutely smashed. And it's doing our handstands now. I'll do 10. Fuming! <laughs> can I kick it up from the other foot if you fancy a change? Maybe? Yeah, go ahead. Confused. That was a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try kicking up on the other leg. Okay. Exercise number two for you guys to do. You can always go back to that exercise of just kicking up to it. You guys probably do that a hundred times, thousands of times during the day. But that's what you should be doing. If you want to get better, repetition, repetition, repetition. Okay. Yeah. Our next exercise, so for you younger ones that are joining along today, if you struggled with that one, this one will probably help you out more than the first one. Okay. This one we're going to start from our knees and we're going to try and pop up to the handstand. Okay. So you'll start, feet together, not feet together, you'll be on your knees. <laughs> feet can be together behind. You're going to put your hands in front. Now before you jump up to your handstand, you have to go... These shoulders here, these shoulders are always back this way. Every single time you jump, you're just going to flop back down the way you came. Okay? So, what I want you to think is two steps. Okay? Let's make it three steps because I like a three step thing. First step, hands on the floor. <laughs> I made it into three steps. <laughs> Second step, you're going to lift your shoulders forwards. And then your third step is a big jump, but keep those arms nice and straight. Go for it. Oh. Okay? You can go just to the top position first. Okay, let's do five in, a five in a tuck position. So you guys can join along. So from our knees, hands on the floor, shoulders forwards, and then pop up. So tuck, back down. Okay. All right. People have a tendency to land back on their knees. There really, there isn't a reason that you should be landing on your feet. But if you do, put a cushion, or if you've got a gymnastics mat, put that down. To a tuck, come back down. Do a tuck. Back down. Do it up. Back down. Do it up. Good. You guys that can, uh, depending on your ability, stay with that one. Once you can do that, so we've done five, now we're going to do five, where we're going to try and straighten our legs all the way up. Okay? So this is almost your, I'm going to, I'd say the first one's level one, this one's level two. That's on the Josh Ball gymnastics yeah, scheme of skills. Yes. Okay? So five, trying to get our feet all the way up. Obviously, if you guys are very good at gymnastics, you'll already know how to make it harder. You could go handstand, half turn, back down, handstand, half turn, half turn, full turn. Ready? Yeah. Trying to get our legs straight. You go, I'll go the opposite time too. Huh? <laughs> Just so we don't crash. Two. Three. Okay, you want it to be explosive and powerful. Try not to go all the way over. Three. That's four. Whoop. Yep. Cheated. Cheated. That was appalling. <laughs> one more. 
<sighs> Last one. Good. Right, level three on this one is depending on how much of a big space you've got. And not everyone's like me and Hannah, where we've got our the, the massive back garden, my gymnastics mats, got air tracks, got, got the full shebang. Okay? But if you've got enough space, so put your leg out like that, put your leg out like that. If you've got enough space on either side of you to do this one, then do this one, okay? Five times, how we did the first one, but instead of our legs coming up, we're gonna try and straddle our legs to the side. Okay, here we got another coin. Ava loves handstands, hi Ava. Uh, is it true walking on our hands will help her Chloe's strength and keep the handstand longer? Uh, yes, it'll help with her strength. For it, she will, if she can walk, but obviously the more that she can walk, the more she'll be able to, longer she'll be able to hold it. But my advice to you guys, when you're younger, working on handstands, or your parents that are trying to get your kids to have a better handstand, is focus on the form of the handstand, okay? So on my, on this channel, if you look at my video uploads, after this class, don't click off this class yet, there's five tips to get your handstands better, and in that video I talk about how your form should be in your handstand, okay? So there's, there's there's, there's not really a point in doing a handstand that looks ugly and messy, okay? Hannah, can you show us an ugly and messy handstand? Okay, so back arch, legs apart. You focus on form rather than time, then the time will come, okay? So pushing off of the floor, having a nice straight back. Again, watch that video that's on my YouTube channel. You educate you, you'll learn more. I think it's probably harder to hold a handstand still though. Of course it is, yeah, it's harder yeah. to hold a handstand but still. it'll help you get stronger yeah. if you are walking, but it's so much harder holding it still. Yeah, but then use use a wall or, you use a wall to hold it still. But again, just focus on the form. You don't want bent arms, you don't, you don't want arched back, you don't want legs together. Focus on that form and you will see the improvement. How can you help with falling over? Um, well, falling over from what? Going forward a, or backwards. In a handstand? Chloe is 10. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe, who's 10 years old. She's going to put it again. Right, third exercise. Right, no, the level three of the second exercise. We're getting into a right little, little like, program. I should write all this down. <laughs> so, trying to straddle your legs. I'm going to do it facing away from you so you can see my legs straddle. So, from this position, same as what we did before, the legs out to the side and together. Back down. Okay? Okay, this way. Again, don't have to hold the handstand. This is to get you active, get all those muscles using, using all your muscles in your handstand. If you can hold the handstand, don't be afraid to hold the handstand. Okay, if you, if you can walk back a little bit, try and walk back a little bit. Remember, form is better than time. It's better to see a, a five second handstand that's perfectly straight and you look at it going, geez, they can do a handstand. Uh, yeah, it's all right, it's just a bit messy though, isn't it? <laughs> straddle. Straddle. Woo. Straddle. Shoulders further forwards. Legs as well. So when you're going that way, and you're going up to your hands, down, your hips are in line with your head. So you pull Shoulders. There. <laughs> oh, push. Push more from the floor. From there, push. Straddle. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Guys, concentrating. Put my tongue out. <laughs> you guys, how many is that? Three. Jesus. That's good, huh? Your shoulders are better, though. Make you fall on me. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, one more, you ready? This will be my best one. Standing still from us. <laughs> got it. You got one more. Let's see what comment we got. It's a cool name, but we'll drop it there. Huh? It's really bad, but I'll just drop it there. So, I'm going to go back to Ava's comment that if you fall over, if you keep going over in your handstand, okay, you don't want to just you don't want to just plop over. The way that I come out of my hand, there's two ways to come out if you're going too far over. Is the easy way and there's the hard way. The easy way is to just try and turn your hand and bring your foot back down. 
And then the hard way is a handstand forwards roll, okay, which is a bit, you need to learn the handstand forwards roll. The, the turn from the handstand just comes with practice, okay? So if you're falling too far over and you're, so you kick and you go too far, how I get out of the handstand is I'll just turn one hand to the side to try and bring my, what, whichever foot I can get on the floor, really. So I'm going up, I go too far over, I turn, bring my foot to the floor. Okay, once you've got it, you've got it. Too far, turn, bring my foot to the floor. Okay, so you're there. You're going too far. Turn. What makes people turn though? What? What makes people so turn go, from your shoulders? What makes people tip over too far though? Like if they kick so it too far. So you kick over too far. Is it like core strength? No, it's just you're, you're just kicking up to the handstand too quick. Okay. There comes a point when you're practicing your handstands, you'll keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and just subconsciously, just naturally, you'll start to begin to understand how hard you need to kick up to that handstand to stay there. Okay. So oh, it's not. I think that's worth taking a longer wider step into it helps yeah because then you can if you go from there you're like yeah so you want to you'd rather have a, a slow kick up than a fast one because if you're going fast every time imagine how quick it's going you're trying to catch that handstand in there if it's really quick you're just gonna every time you're gonna fly back yeah so try a couple where you're going really slow so from this position I'm gonna on the half foot. so from there if you can go nice and slow lift that back leg up and then just try and pop and hold. And then again, if I, if I go over, I turn my shoulders and I fall down to the floor. The other one is a handstand forwards roll, which is a little bit dangerous to learn at home. Okay? I'll show you one. I'm not going to teach you a handstand forwards roll though. Okay? So from here, arms up. If you're going over, you can just bring your head down. Make sure your chin goes to your chest. Okay? But the only way that you'll be to keep going over in your handstand is from the one that's on the floor is you're not pushing your shoulders back and you're pushing over too far. Okay, but again, just keep practicing. You up to a wall would help because then you know how high you need to catch. Yeah. How hard you need to catch, how hard you need to kick to get to the wall. Yeah. Right, what was my last? So I've done two exercises, haven't I? Last exercise, this was the part. If you guys have been here from the start, I told you at the start that you're going to need a chair. Okay. This one, this one will break you a sweat. We're going to do 10, 10 reps of this one. Okay. Do you want that? Um, yeah, go on. Go on, and I love my own chair. We're just using standard garden chairs. If you're next to a sofa, you can use a sofa, but you just need just need anything that's a little bit raised. That's it's about about two foot off the floor, is it? Would you say two foot? foot yeah, half. foot and a half. Okay. And the next next exercise is a bit of so it's shoulder conditioning, it's stomach conditioning, it even works some of your legs. Okay. You're gonna to want to find yourself your chair. Put your chair down. Have a seat and have a cuppa. Yeah, have a sit down. Get a Hannah. Have a cup of tea. Yep. Yeah. Half an hour in can. When we're back in this, when we're back to all this, back to normal life, you come to one of my classes, someone brings me a cup of tea, you can have it for free. Yeah. <laughs> Love a cup of tea. Right, this exercise, you're going to put your feet on the chair, hands on the floor. And then I want you to walk backwards so you're in a tuck shape like this. Okay? And then what you're going to do, the only thing that can touch the chair is your toes. Okay? You want to try and keep your shoulders either in front of your hands or bang on top of your hands. Okay? So this is the position. You're going to go from here, tuck check, straighten your legs up. And take that weight on your shoulders. Back down. And up. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back. Go again. Five. Four, three, two, one. There's two. And up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. And again. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. And again. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. You go. So if you can, when you're doing it, go. Three, all the way over. See, it have his hips and directly, everything from our hands all the way up to our hips is in line. So she goes five, four, three, two, one, like that. Yeah? Keep going. We're going to do five more. These are hard. Huh? They're hard work. These, these are a good exercise because when you push up straight, if you can get your hips in line with your shoulders and your hands, every single time you do it, it's going to condition your body that that's the position that you should be in. 
Okay, if you can feel that position every single time you do a handstand, then you're set to do a handstand. Okay, if you see people do the press handstand where they go from this position, hands on the floor and lift. Okay, young girls can do that well because they can get their hips over the top of their head and then it's just joining your legs together. Okay, so this is a very, very good exercise to, to show you the position that you should be in. Okay, you guys try this one. Get your parents to take a picture of you. Look at it, and if your hips aren't in line with your shoulders and your hands, so if Hannah shows you one again. So if you guys just for self, so if you can see yourself doing it, take a photo, it's probably the best thing for gymnastics. You see how her hips here, they all come in line there with her, they're all in line, okay? That's what you're working towards, okay? It's gonna condition your handstand, it's gonna condition your shoulders, condition your everything, it's just good exercise. Cheers. Well, I didn't make it up. We'll call it the bull. <laughs> The bull squat. <laughs> five more times. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Up. Five, four, three, two, one. But now, and again. Five, four, three, two, one. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. But now, go. Five, four, three, two, one. But now, and five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> There you have it. There you have it. Woo. So there you go, guys. You've got. I've given you. I gave them four, didn't I? Four, four exercises for your handstands to do at home. Okay, you guys can finish this live stream. You can crack on with that in your spare time. The only way that you're going to get better is you're not going to get to the level that you want to be at with gymnastics. Just doing a. 42 minutes of gymnastics, okay? You need to go practice, practice, practice. Hopefully you've got some education from this. You've understood what we're doing. Yeah. We'll go through those four exercises. So the first one, Hannah. Kick up. Kick up. Just try in your handstand. Try to stay nice and straight, don't. And a little bend in the back bend. Try, try and keep it. Like Imagine you're lying on the floor, so everything should be nice and straight. There you go, there's a good one. Exercise number two. Was kneeling. Kneeling into a tuck shape. Well, no, this was exercise, but I did three levels for it, didn't I? Yeah. So you had level one was just to a tuck shape. So if you're just on a gymnastics journey, just do it to a tuck shape for now, okay? Level two was trying to kick your leg straight up, so you're holding that handstand. So from here and up. That was really good. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. Push and up. Yeah. <laughs> and then your third level on that exercise was the straddle one. Okay, show us a good one. Come on, I've been mean, training Anna for the last two weeks. She should be able to do a straddle. <laughs> well, straddle, yeah, nearly not bad. Okay, we'll practice that. She'll get it better, won't you, Hannah? Yeah. High five. You gotta do it like that on the screen, like, mm -hmm. so we don't actually high five, but obviously from back there. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it from here. And then your fourth exercise that we did was on a chair. Okay, getting into that right position, getting your hips over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hands. So you stay in the last position. Hannah's already getting ready to demonstrate. She is a very good assistant. Mm -hmm. Push up, oh, nice and tall. Lovely. And then a quick bonus one, because I know that there's two, there's people joining in with this where there's more than one of you. If you want to, and if you're more than, if you're capable to do this, Okay, work with your partner. Okay, so you, when you're with your partner, you're going to stand side on. They're going to do their handstand. So if you stand here like this, Pink, and Hannah kicks up to a handstand, face. this will end up happening. Boom. <laughs> yeah? So you want to stand at the side. Stand there at the side, kick up to a handstand. I'd have your hand right ready, though. No? I'm professional, i will do And then you're going to grab them. Okay? If you can grab their feet, grab their feet. I'd probably have the parents do this instead of two little four-year-olds trying it. So you're going to hold them. Toes, that's easy. Medium is holding their thighs. And hard is holding their stomach and their back. Okay? And then extra hard is holding their shoulders. Okay? There you go, everybody. That is me, Joshua Ball. And Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good. I'm all right. I can carry on going. Got that split stretch. What? Huh? 
split stretch. Now we've got, we got plenty of stuff to do. I have got a video coming out for you guys soon. Okay, I'm teaching Hannah a round off back handspring, back tucking in my back garden. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Yes. Give me a quick thumbs up in the comments if you enjoyed it. Can we get as many comments quickly? Any comments? No comments. Thanks for joining. Goodbye. See you next time.